Yeah, th okay, so Thursday on the road thoughts. Yeah, I know I'm not in my car this time, but uh, this is actually a uh, a scheduled um, a scheduled video. So bear with me. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Actually, no, I take that back. Never mind. Um, but yeah, when your car breaks down, this no, this is actually for your thoughts. Part of the series. Anyways, uh, so yeah, if your car breaks down, what's going to happen? When your car breaks down, various things can actually break. Tons of things. I've actually had a gas tank just fall off. I've had transmission gears fall out. Literally. It's... It ain't fun. But something as little as like maybe a tire. You gotta take care of that right away. And if there's no reception and if you know I mean, I'm, I'm talking to the people that actually know how to do this. you got to get that thing off the road and fixed. And if you can, if you don't know how, and you're out on God knows where with no reception in your phone, you got to take care of that right away. It is more of a hazard than on off the road than it is on the road. It's, you got to take care of that. Just, uh, if, if you don't know how to do it, just look at the owner's manual. Owner's manual is usually right underneath the glove box. Or right inside the glove box. It, you got to take care of that. And, uh, if you're out of gas, oof, oof, good luck to you. But, always plan ahead. Um, let's see, uh, a vehicle is the biggest expense in your life, and yes, that is true, uh, expense, half your, probably your half your paycheck will go right straight to that car, or truck, or SUV, you know, whichever, like, uh, it is expensive, because you got, uh, payments, if you owe money to it, you've got maintenance, which you need to keep up on in order to keep it alive. Uh, you got repairs if it breaks down on you. And you got insurance, which I'm more than likely, I'm pretty sure, all 50 states requires you to have insurance. You know, I mean, all of that needs to be done. Payments, if you don't have any payments, you got less to worry about. But repairs, insurance, and maintenance all have to be done, regardless. Um, like, uh, like me, half my paycheck goes right straight to the car because it's always breaking down, <laughs> honestly. Um, I'm still not done fixing it yet, which is sad because I spent like a ton of money on it. But anyways, um, like uh, for instance, what do you do with it? You know, what do you do with your car? If you use it for work, you definitely got to keep that thing maintained at all times. Um, like if it's your vehicle to get to work again you gotta keep that thing maintained all the time and if it's just for fun you know whatever <laughs> it needs to be fixed well then go ahead and fix it there's really no real maintenance to like off-road vehicle you know if you want to fabricate an old truck you know just jack it up put a big block in there Boom. You have your fun vehicle. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's 
you know, I mean, like I said, cars are a very expensive uh, piece of machinery. Um, not to mention a semi. Semi is probably 50 times worse. <laughs> Honestly, uh, gets about 8 miles per gallon on highway. Probably about 2 in the city. Um, like for instance a turbo goes out on a semi that's going to be about four thousand dollars oil changes I'm pretty sure are about eighty bucks trucks or semis are expensive so if you like this video please hit that like button and if you want to comment please go ahead and comment because I like to hear what all you'd say and go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more alrighty you have a good day and God bless.